This morning we're going to start to make the water pumps and there are two types of pumps. One is a chain pump and the other one is a hand or brake pump. And the first thing we're going to make is the tubes. We have to make six tubes, so let's get started. The chain pump has two tubes, whereas the brake pump has only one. This is the brake pump here. But the tubes are made up exactly the same. They're approximately 16 feet in length. In my case, I didn't put in the sumps, so mine is 15 foot 4 inches. The top of the tube um, is 10 inches, and the bottom of the tube is 7.5 inches. And the other measurement that I've taken is where the tube passes through the deck, and it'll be passing through the main mass part now. Um, I've estimated as 9 inches, so I actually open the hole up to 9 inches, and I mark this point on the blank um, to show, I put a mark on it to show it's 9.5 inches, because we're planing it, and it's very difficult um, to know exactly what it what the size, what the diameter is here when it goes through. The other interesting little rule that I learned is this um, 7 10 7 rule. And that's how you uh, cut out an octagon. Um, you divide whatever the distance is by 24 and then multiply by 7 to get um, how you uh, put a mark on the piece. So you'd mark either, either side with um, 7 24th of the of the distance and that line if you cut to that line that will give you a perfect octagon and the last little tool that um, you need is you need um, this jig board this is a series of quarter inch slots that I made up um, to hold the pieces so this is quarter inch scale to 10 inches and these are all the various inches cut to quarter inch scale. And then on this side, it's an angled um, slot so that if I wanted to shave this piece, I could hold the piece in here and run the plane along it. And this was the addition that I made to it, which is a tapered slot. Um, in the case of these, um, of these tubes, they're tapered. So I thought I should have a tapered slot that it will keep the piece, the work, um, high on both ends. Um, so I made this up and stuck it on. And as with uh, anything I'm doing these days, I make up lots of stock. This is, I'm going to cut the tubes out of juniper. So I actually made 12 pieces, twice what I need, because we're only going to be making six of them. So we've set up the um, sliding table, um, set the stock to the right spot, square the end and we're just going to run these off and mark them and they're correct so this is the mark that gives me seven and a half inches at the bottom of the tube Now we'll just cut them to length. Now we're going to put that mark from the top of the tube, which is nine inches. So again, when we're planing down from 10 inches to seven and a half inches, we know we want to get to this, this line must disappear. And what I do with them is I put a pencil mark on each because it's very hard to see. And um, this really helps you in preparing the piece. In the book, David suggests that you drill the holes, um, the five inch hole that sucks the water up. Um, I've done that and sometimes it's not really balanced so 
what you need to do now before you start the piece is certainly to establish the center point of the piece. And to do this, I take a very sharp chisel and just put it on the four corners so you get a nice clean thin line and that will give you the center point. Blind as a bat. <laughs> if you try to put a pencil to mark the piece, uh, the line is going to be too far. So you're lining up the end, the 10 inch piece with the seven and a half I use a utility knife to mark the piece. You only mark the two opposite sides at this point in time because you're going to plane the two surfaces off. If you're having trouble seeing it, you can now come and just highlight it with the pencil. And then you take a rubber and rub it off and the line will be the pencil will be left in the line. So now we simply put it in the 10 inch groove and start to plane. And what we're doing is we want to get this to disappear and this to disappear. So we'll start planing the aft end, the bottom, and then move to the top. So you can see that the line here, the nine inch line is gone and the seven and a half inch is gone. So now we just flip it over and do the other side. So both sides are down and you can see the taper. Now we're gonna establish doing the same thing, the taper on the other two sides. And again, as I keep stressing, the more you make these things, the better you get at it. So that's really as good a taper as I'm gonna get. The hole is centered and the hole is centered. So now the time has come to put the other four surfaces on. And what we're gonna do is establish the line um, to plane these edges here. So following the same thing, I've worked this out and the seven and a half inches is 0 0.045. So I'm gonna just establish the mark on the bottom using the caliper and and then on the 10 is 0 0.061. 10, so do the same thing here. And we can highlight those if we want with a pencil. Again, looking at the lines very carefully, we put in the other four sides. And what we're doing is we're planing down as square as we can because the piece is being held inside. Now to finish up, I take the pen sander and I use the magnifying glass because it really is very hard to see. And just try and make sure all the lines are clean and level. If you need, you can actually put a pencil line on it, which will highlight the edge.
and we do a trial fit. And you can see it still has a little bit to come down. After the third attempt, fits perfectly. So now we can open up the hole, assuming we want to do that, both at the top and the bottom. Um, in case of this model, I'll open up the top hole, I'll just mark the bottom hole. So here's a little trick. We have a pencil sharpener, manual or electric. And so I've marked out what I want to cut, push it inside. And this really just gives me the starter, which is all I want. And now I'll finish it up with the pen sander. So she's perfectly in place. I had purchased this photo etched plate from Admiralty Models, so I'm just going to cut out So these are the two sides of the pump intake chamber which we're gonna make up now. We're gonna put the first set of solder on it. And so the first thing we're gonna do is a little flux cleaner. I have cleaned it with isopropyl alcohol already. To drill the inner planks, it's really a problem. So I've decided this is as far as I'm gonna get. I'm going to stick them and then open up the final holes when it's all, all the glue is hardened. The nice thing about this build is I'm constantly learning as I go along, especially when I'm doing new things. So tapering these pieces and taking the time to draw the lines on the side to show the taper, I found that I don't need to do that at all. Having established that the top piece um, is 10 inches and the bottom piece is seven and a half, and the piece in the middle is my nine inch mark. The truth is I can just plane it until those marks disappear and I'm gonna end up exactly at the same point as if I had drawn the line. Um, you can't see the line anyway, so it's very problematic to keep trying to highlight it um, so that you can see it. The only trick is to make sure that the plane is level at all times. And you get an indication of that if you start to see the lines, either the bottom or the top, start to disappear partially. Now that I've got this thing down pat, it takes three or four minutes to taper the piece before the octagon um, shaping. 
I am not going to be installing the pump intake chamber on the um, on the chain pump and for the brake pump um, the bottom of it is slanted um, probably to get it tighter down in the bilge I'm not going to taper those because you're not going to see them anyway I'm not going to go through the building of the cistern and installing it now along with all the other mechanisms um, the chain etc um, I'll do that in another video because I really want to finish the top deck and when I finish the top deck I'm going to start the planking on the sides so I'll bring this to an end and um, eventually I'll get to start the rest of the planking so see you soon enjoy your modeling mm -hmm.